Hey Taurus, I'm here to do your reading. This will be a reading for July 2021, Taurus. Let's see how your July will play out. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's get in a little overview. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Pole. What's going on in July for Taurus? So I'm getting three. I'm getting something about three for you. I'm getting there are three. I'm getting there are three here. And I'm getting that's that's the truth. Three. Three is the truth. I also feel an energy of someone being left out in the cold in the month of July. That is your wish fulfillment, is that someone is left out in the cold. You have the Ten of Swords reversed here, so I feel like something is not yet over. Something has not yet ended. Something has not yet come to a completion. You have the Eight of Swords here. I feel like you are, not, you are no longer communicating with someone. You are no longer communicating and ending with someone. You just might end it. Like there's no need for you to communicate it. You have the Ten of Cups here. You might try to end something for your happiness. Ten of Cups. I see you like shutting all communication, all that shit out for your happiness strictly. I feel like there's a secret. There's something that you're unaware of. There's something that has not yet been exposed to you. And I'm also getting something to do with your intuition. You may not be picking up on like, um, you're not picking up on others. Seven of Cups. You're not picking up on others. I get there are three. So you may not be picking up on the other three because I get that these three are maybe highly cloaked with the um, King of Cups here. These three are highly cloaked or these seven, I'm getting like three to seven are highly cloaked. But I feel like you're suspicious of something now in the month of July. You're very suspicious over this Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy, Taurus. The world, yeah. You're suspicious about something that has not yet come to a completion. You may have given this person an ultimatum here. You need to complete this. You need to finish these cycles. You need to close out these cycles. And I feel like this person did not do that. They did not do as you told them to do. No. No. They're still offering... The Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you'll receive a brand new offer in the month of July. This is like something very tangible, something financially that'll set you, you know, have you set. You have the Four of Swords here. I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking about this new endeavor or whatever this new, whatever these finances are, whatever this new idea I get or new finances, new stream of um, income might be or how it might um how it might benefit your life, I get. The seven of wands here, I feel like you have a knowing. You have a knowing on how it will benefit your life. You know it would definitely change your life here. I'm also getting a situation where you're dealing with a Scorpio here. I feel like you are no longer reuniting or celebrating with a Scorpio. There's a lot of regret and loss around this situation. A lot of remorse, I hear. That someone is not reuniting with you. That is their wish fulfillment. I'm also getting a sense where someone may be like very lazy. I get all they do is lay and sit around. Four of Swords and then you have the Knight of Swords. I feel like they lay and sit around and they just yell. Like they'll yell to you what to do, I feel like. Or they'll yell something while, while sitting or laying down for you to do. And this may be getting on your nerves with the Five of Cups here. In the month of July for Taurus, I also feel a sense where someone does not want to be left out in the cold. This is why they're keeping their other options around because if you leave them out... I also get a sense if you leave them out in the cold, they will not have a direction to go in. No. They're not reporting this to you. Or if they're left out in the cold, period, they won't have anywhere to stay. Live car something to do with a car i'm feeling like car notes deeds titles all that is in someone else's name and they can't lose that they can't risk losing their car 
whatever else is going on here, Page of Swords, something that they're not reporting to you accurate, accurately about. I'm getting feelings. These are feelings, air energy. That's nothing but feelings here. So they're not reporting accurately on their feelings for you as well in the month of July. This could be a powerful realization for you. I'm also getting a sense where someone does not want to be disappointed over a car or something like that here. I have the Ten of Pentacles. I get like something very long lasting, very um long standing and good standing for either six to 10 years. Yeah, I feel like someone could have a contract for like six to 10 years here. I'm also getting a sense where someone is psychically tapped in with the Queen of Cups reverse. They're psychically tapped in at night. So they get a bunch of downloads. I'm getting like bad dreams where they wake up sweating and shit like that. Like they just get a bunch of uh, crazy ass dreams at night in the month of July. This could be you receiving these downloads in the month of July as well. I get more so of Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy. I feel like, yeah, that is the truth. That's the truth here. You know this person is offering cups of love. Clarify to who in the month of July? To an Aquarius. So they, they even could be offering you love. Like, oh, let me fix this for you. Oh, let me, let me do this for you. You know, let me come fuck the shit out you, whatever the case may be. The Ace of Wands and then you have the star. I feel like they want to lay it down on you sexually. They have some emotions that they want to get off, get off of their chest. When it comes to you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Five of Swords. They're not playing dirty when it comes to you. I just get that they have other things that they are tied up with or tied into. You have the um, Wheel of Fortune here. No, yeah, I see things changing in your favor. I feel like you'll lose a little bit of strength because of this situation or whatever is whatever's going on. It may require you to um, lose just a little bit of strength, not much. I don't see. I'm getting like more so emotional strength than anything. More for Taurus. Yeah. I feel like someone is not committed. They are not connected. I get. So they don't believe in God. I get. Because if they believed in God, they would not do this or whatever the case may be. Clarify the higher friend, the lovers reverse. Oh, you have the king of pentacles and then queen of pentacles. Wow. You have both. So I feel like you have perfect timing or this person is trying to do something within the perfect timing in the month of July. I also feel like they're trying to take very good care of you, even though they cannot be committed to you. Lovers in the Hierophant reversed, they, they're not very um, faithful or committed, but they do want to take care of you, Taurus. Let's see. You have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I feel like they want to take good care of you, but they cannot. I feel like they cannot because they don't really have any drive to do so. So this may be just pump faking, I get. Someone may be pump faking towards you or to you in the month of July. Yeah, pump faking. King of Wands. The Hanged Man Reverse. Nah, they're going to continue to give to two, six of pentacles. They're going to continue to do their thing because they have to. Like I said, they're, they feel like they, they're obligated. Either they are obligated or they feel like they are obligated. I'm also getting a sense where someone is very arrogant. Highly, highly arrogant, I get. Stuck up. Could be dealing with the Pisces as well. Clarify this. You have the title card. So I get that you you will be enlightened here. That this person is highly active. You will be enlightened in the month of July that this person is highly active. Stuck up, first of all. First of all, I'm getting ego. I get that they be ego tripping. I feel like they ego trip because they, they are afraid to lose this title. Whatever this is, whatever this Ten of Pentacles energy is, whatever they've been dealing with for a very long time or they're contractually obligated to do, this could even be children, okay? 
This could even be children that this person has or something like that here. They, they're obligated to continue doing for these children or they're obligated to continue being in contract with something or someone else. Yeah, the devil reversed. I get that it's not toxic. No, I don't get that it's toxic. I get like a lot of back and forth, like a lot of communication, um, especially harsh communication. I feel like they communicate very harshly with whoever they're dealing with. And I feel like whatever this person that they're dealing with, whatever they communicate back to them, it's even more harsh. So it's like, this is something mentally in the month of July. I feel like you'll receive some type of download that this person has something going on mentally here. The Four of Cups, yeah, you may stop receiving offers or accepting this person's cups of love or offers of love, rather. The Four of Pentacles, I see you holding back from this person in the month of July. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Taurus. Yeah, you're going to stop offering this person, period. I'm getting stop offering this person money. Stop offering them money. Stop. Stop giving them money. Stop. You might find justice in leaving this person in the month of July. I see you finding justice and ghosting this person. It could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. I feel like you will no longer share fluids with this person. You will no longer be in contract, partnership, or, or anything like that. You don't see eye to eye with this person anymore. And I feel like this will be a powerful realization for you in the month of July. I also feel an energy of like something being being a success or something about authority here. Something about authority going on here or the police. Seven of Pentacles reverse. I feel like someone's running out of time when it comes to moving on successfully or something to do with the police. Clarify this. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like someone wants to move on to be independent. I feel like someone has run out of time here as well. Someone has run out of time and now they have to move on very independently in the month of July. I also get a sense where um, like things will be a lot to handle in the month of July. They feel like if they move on to be independent, things will be a lot for them to handle. Things will be too much for them to handle. The magician reversed. Yeah, I get that this person talks, but they talk a lot about nothing. They say a lot of nothing. You have the six of wands reversed here. So I feel like they're not moving on very glor like successfully or uh, glorious as they wish to. You can't move on successfully when you have to tell lies about your relationship. Four of wands, the tower, like I said, you will receive some type of powerful realization about this person in the month of July. I also see your finances looking pretty good here. I feel like your savings, you could be emptying out your savings account as well. Don't do that for this person. If you're emptying out your savings account for this person, do not. Ten of Pentacles, you work. You have stability. You work for your stability. Ten of Pentacles, you've been doing this for a very long time. You've been working for a very long time. You have many options as well when it comes to work. You have many options when it comes to work. You. So why would you be emptying your bank accounts to anyone? Someone may need some help financially. Someone may need to be bailed out. The fuck? Page of Cups. I'm, I'm sorry. Knight of Cups. Three of Pentacles. They're going to need help because they're not working. They're going to need help because they're they're going to be put out of work. They're going to stop working. If there's a third party involved, there will no longer be a third party and they're going to need your help. Are you going to empty out your bank accounts for them? And you have the um, Ace of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. You have not yet made a decision on if you want to accept this person, this person's um, offer, or you have a brand new offer in the month of July. You might have many offers, Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups. You have many offers. There are many offers for you, Taurus. You have to look in the right places. 
Two of Pentacles, you're undecided, very indecisive. You have not made a decision yet when it comes to your future as well. Three of Pent uh, Three of Wands, you have not made a decision. You're undecided, like I said, very indecisive when it comes to your future and your happiness and who you want to give your thing to, who you want to settle down and, and actually give your private to have a child with the sun reversed you're unsure on if you should even do this two of wands you're moving in a <laughs> i just read through my whole deck again you're moving in a new direction taurus queen of wands you're not underestimating yourself moving in this new direction you don't care six of cups you don't give a fuck that's right continue to move forward Let's get a Moonology card for you. <laughs> First, I wish you... I know you're giving. I know you're giving. You're a very giving person. But if you empty out your bank accounts for anyone, I mean, you are going to have a problem. You can say what you want. Get in the comments and say, oh, no, not me. Play with me. Because I know you. I do. Let's see. Hold your vision. So, so I'm getting hold your vision. When it comes to what you want in your life, your happiness, hold that vision. Hold on to it. This is just a cycle. Look at the bigger picture. What did you learn from this situation? Think of all of the things that you collected emotionally, spiritually, mentally. And use that to your advantage. Use that towards what you're trying to go for, what you're trying to receive. Three of Wands, what you're waiting to come in towards you. You know what you want. You have the vision, but you have to look at the bigger picture when it comes to your vision. You might have to look in another place as well. Seven of Cups. You might already be doing that in the month of July. Then you have balanced spirituality and practicality underneath the deck. Yeah. So balance out more so of your spirit. Like if you, if you, if you're ending things or you, you're trying to move on and view your options because you know something, there's something that you know spiritually. I'm getting you'll need to balance the spiritual side and the practical side. So know that everything is not spiritual. And know that everything is not practical. There has to be a balance of everything in life. Everything. Like, okay, I'm getting, if, if, if someone's telling you something, and proof, do not take it somewhere else because you don't have the proof of what they're, what they're telling you. Because you know you can find it out spiritually. Do not take that practical energy and turn it into something spiritual. You have to go off of what they say. And if you have the knowing that what they're communicating to you is false, incorrect, maybe a lie, false reporting, page of swords or verse. If you know that this person is not reporting accurately or telling you things that you know to be true spiritually, do not take that and run with it and turn it into something else. Because you don't know if they're telling the truth. You don't know why they're lying, number one. I know. Even if it's a lie, it's still wrong. But you don't know why they are lying. They could respect you enough to hold this information from you. They could respect you enough to not tell you everything because they know where it'll go. Like I said, this person could be tied up to to other things, I get. And sometimes you meet people where they are. I'm going to choose one more for you. You have two coming out here, so I'm going to choose one. Let's see. Emotions are running high, exactly. <laughs> like, don't, don't let this person fuck with your emotions, no. Underneath the deck, you have this energy is gaining momentum. Mm -mm. Don't end this so quickly because of what you know spiritually. But if you choose to, the better.
but you don't want to skip over you don't want to skip over too many lessons because you you'll be required to repeat that lesson just because you leave this person you think the next one that comes along isn't going to have the same the same uh problems that you skipped over that you didn't go through that you didn't battle that you didn't accomplish Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box where you guys can book a personal reading. All right, thank you, Taurus, for watching.